Hello everybody, this is Stringy Bear back to kick off round 6 for Group E. Oh, this is a very exciting group. And let's have a look at our fight card for this session, shall we? So you can see our main event of this session. It is Kaijong Cooper going up against Jurassic Experts. Defeat for Kaijong Cooper will end their chances of getting out of this group. But a win could thrust them right into the mix. But they would still need other results to go their way to have a real, real chance. And as for experts, well, they're the only team in this group that could, in fact, theory, finish above MEJE10. But before that, we have Keontae going up against Arctic Warriors. Victory for Keontae would keep their hopes alive, but a defeat that would end their chances again out of the group. Then we have Aaron Plays going up against MEJP10. Can Aaron Plays be the first combatant to beat MEJE10 in this tournament and end their 100% start? We'll have to find out, but up first, it is Marn going up against Prism Bow. Okie dokie, in the right corner for Marn, we've got Soro Faganax. Victory for Marn here would all but secure last 32 spot. Defeat, and they'll just have to do it on the last day. But they're in the position they want to be in, where it's in their hands. Where as long as they win their matches, they're free. Doesn't matter what anyone else does. Right, in the blue corner for Prism Bow, we've got Paris Dino Tector. Unfortunately for Prism Bow, they don't have that luxurious position. But a win would get them in the top four temporarily. But a defeat, with other results going against them, would end their hopes of getting out of this group. The way I see it in this group, I feel like the top three at the minute will go through. That includes Marn, well, MEJP10 is already through, but Marn and Jurassic Experts, I think, will go through. And then fourth, well, that could be anybody's. And I think if you're Prism Bow, if you're up Aaron Plays, you're Arctic, you're all those guys at the bottom, that's the spot you're probably going to aim for. And at the minute, it's Arctic Warriors sitting in that position. And well, back to this match, this is a good start from Prism Bow. This sort of Faganax hasn't really done as well as I thought it would throughout this tournament, but there's a good tag team there. However, the bar is filling up the Dinotector bar. Be a problem for Man. Okay, there's a tie. And that's another hit from Prism Bow. The Dinotector is filling up now. They haven't had the best of luck with this Dino Tector, in all honesty. They have missed a lot of chances to use to get it off, but we'll see if they get it off this time. Dino Tector on! Could be a big moment in the match, this could be. Well, if they get an ultimate Leaf off, it's going to be Leaf on. So Faganax is on very low health, so it'll be wasted. Okay, that's a tie. But can Soro Faganax land a big shot? They can't! Okay, well, not too bad for Marn because the Soro Faganax was gonna, would have gone down anyway, and it does waste the ultimate leaf. You know, it could have been worse where we'd have multiple ties and then Prismbo would have a chance to hit Taurosaurus with it, which would have been a lot worse. That's not too bad. But Marn does need to strike some blows in this match, and he can certainly do that with this Taurosaurus. We saw how hard hitting it can be. But Prism Bow well on top in this match. But we have seen in this tournament Prism Bow get early leads and then the other guy pulls it back. <laughs> they had a good lead against Arctic Warriors and they missed the chance to go 2 0 up, which would have probably won them that match. But instead, they didn't take that chance. And, well, we all know how that match ended. But Marm really struggling to get hits. Oh my god, another tie and we get to see Dino Tector again. Oh, well, Dino Tector again. <laughs> Ooh, but Marm gets a big crit. First shot of the match and there's a crit, a stomping hammer. This might be lethal. I mean, it freaking should be. The Taurosaurus hits like a truck. Or a ball, I should say. And it is lethal. That could be a big hit. Another ultimate leaf there, and it was 2 0 Prison Bar. But Man avoided that with their only hit in this match. Right, coming in next for Prison Bar, we've got Yanchonosaurus. 
Well, despite only having one hit in this match, Mard's not that far behind. And is it another stomping hammer with the, the buffed up attack that the Taurosaurus now has? He could take the lead. Okay, there's a hit. Attack boost is going to be maxed up. Electric charge could activate here. And it doesn't. Okay, that's another hit. And this will put Marn in the lead. And an electric charge as well. Man, this Taurosaurus is stacked with attack power now, just like in Marn's last match. That is not good for Prison Bow. That is, though. That's a crit. A Lilian Cure to come. I mean, Lilian Cure won't do anything if the Taurosaurus gets a hit. <laughs> it's still going to do a lot of damage. Okay, that's a tie. Well, there goes Yang Chungasaurus. Nice knowing your pal. <laughs> Massive crit from Smart. Right, coming in third for Prism, but we got Lexovasaurus. Another hard hitting crit dinosaur, this dude. Well, it was a very good start from Prison Bow, but that Taurosaurus has really turned it around for Marn. Now, the worry here is because it's so stacked in attack power, if it gets a crit on this thing, that could be a one-shot. That's the big worry for Prison Bow. Okay, gets a hit of Venom Fang. It's not going to be lethal, though. That is a problem. But yeah, they need to kill this Taurosaurus quick because as long as our crit is in play, Man could win this match out of nowhere. Oh, he's going for it. Oh, he gets it! Oh, here we go. This is going to be big. This could be a one-shot. Man coming in. The stomp in the Taurosaurus. Oh, look at that! Massive hit from Marn, and all of a sudden now, one tie will finish the job. Oh, there it is. Now, yes, the Taurosaurus did go down, so it is not a bonus point victory for Marn, but it is a victory nonetheless, and that all but secures their place in the last 32, should other results go their way. As for Prison Bow, I think that's it now. They are done in this group. They just have to hope and pray that Arctic Warriors does not win their match. Or Aaron plays as well, mind. <laughs> right, speaking of Aaron plays, I believe he's up next. Okie dokie, in the right corner for Aaron plays, we have got Mataburasaurus. Hmm. This will be interesting for Annie because this is the first time they're going to face a grass dinosaur in first. Oh, no, it's not. They had one when the prison bar has one, didn't they? Hee <laughs> hee. Well, Aaron plays a win would get them in the top four and put big pressure on Arctic Warriors. But it is going to be a big ask because in the blue corner for MEJP10, we've got Ulti Rhinus. And well, MEJP10 has absolutely dominated in this group. And a win here would secure top spot. But let's be honest, if they don't get top spot, that would be a big shock. I mean, they deserve it because, you know, they've been the strongest team in this group by a country mile and well there's more proof of that there's a metal wing okay there's no lightning types in this matchup so no terrain advantages oh geez <laughs> well there's a good start for a uh, emmy oh but the borosaurus responds with a stomping hammer i mean if aaron plays does win this match it would be a huge shape it would change everything in this group would shake things up a bit Ooh, there's a crit well a good start from emmy but aaron plays getting some hits on the board Well, we're at level packing. 
and this might be lethal for the ulti Rhinus, which I think for the has happened for the first time. <laughs> so for the first time in this tournament, I believe MEJP10 is going to be one nil down. And now, they got type disadvantage to deal with, because coming in next, they got Duoplocephalus. Hmm, unfamiliar territory for Emi, yeah? Of course, they can pull this back easily, because the ulti the uh, Muttaburasaurus is on really low health, but the Muttaburasaurus does have type advantage, and if it can get some hits, Aaron Plays can open up a decent lead here. Not a chance on Earth! <laughs> MEJE10 having none of that. And Mutaburosaurus goes down. Right, coming in next for Aaron Plays, we've got Ankylosaurus. This could be a slog fest here. Both of our guys, I believe, got Earth Barrier. Both of them. Well, Ankylosaurus has Sand Trap. <laughs> And the Euoplocephalus has elemental power, so I feel like Euoplocephalus has more resilience to it. But Ankylosaurus with that crit does hit harder. And well, there we go. Elemental power maxing up there. MEJP10 striking back after losing Ulti Rhinus. Striking back hard. Well, I, th I think they took, took it personally losing Ulti Rhinus and going 1-0 down for the first time in this tournament. <laughs> if Barrier coming in here, Aaron Plays might have awoken up the beast. Okay, a tie would be good for them. It could activate Sandra. Okay, now Sandra is uh, null and void. But three ties do down the Ankylosaurus, and all of a sudden, MEJP10 has a decent lead. Alpha Slash. Right, coming in third for Aaron Plays, we got Spiny Tector. Well, I'd say if Aaron Plays can get a losing bonus point out of this match, I think that would be a game. Although, they again, they would have to rely on most likely Arctic Warriors losing their matchup. Now, we won't count Aaron Plays out yet, because that Dino Tector can swing this match 180, but he does need to start getting hits. Okay, there's a hit. Aqua Whip coming in, that's going to eat up the Earth Barrier, that's going to fill up the Dino Tector as well. Badoosh! Can Aaron Plays come back from this? That's a tie. Oh, that's another hit. That's not good. Elemental power is going to increase our damage. Another Earth Barrier. That's big. And that's the losing bonus points secured for MEJP10. That's another tie. If Aaron Plays can just survive, they're not going to survive. No. Nope. Game over for Aaron Plays. And it is MEJP10's victory and a bonus point win, which guarantees top spot in this group. And let's be honest, <laughs> we all knew they were going to top the group at this point. And now it's official. And Aaron plays, well, they'll just have to do it all in the last round. And pray and hope that Arctic Warriors does not win in this next matchup. Speaking of uh, Arctic Warriors, they're up next. Righty ho, in the red corner. For Keontae, we've got Spinosaurus. Keontae wins this match. They will go above Arctic into fourth. By virtue of the head to head. And it would also keep alive Prism Bow and Aaron Plays' hopes of qualifying too. In the blue corner for Arctic Warriors, we have got Kentrosaurus. A win for Arctic Warriors knocks out Keontae, it knocks out Prism Bow and Aaron Plays. Huge significance on this match. And it would mean. It would also mean that Arctic would finish in the top four if Kaijon Cooper loses in the main event later. So there's a lot of pressure in this on this match. 
And that's a good start there from Keonte. The Spino is heroic types of that tragic sphere. Look at that. Big hit from Keonte. Ooh, but Arctic Warriors responds with a mole attack. This Kentrosaurus is also heroic type, so this mole attack will do a decent chunk of damage. And an Earth Barrier as well. Good response from Arctic. Okay, there goes the uh, Earth Barrier. Oh, hello, what have we got here? We got a Shockwave. Good Shockwave from Keonte. That will guarantee him at least a tie. Okay, so he will go for Paper. And gets the head. Ooh, but Arctic Warriors gets a crit on the board. Good shot from Kentrosaurus. This is a back and forth match so far. Really tense opening. And that will put Arctic Warriors 1-0 up. A mole attack to finish off the Spino. Um, we don't have any Alpha Dinosaurs in this matchup, so be no terrain advantages. Right, coming in next for Keontae, we got Super Tank Awaken Mode on 4. Now, that Awaken hit could be significant, and it could decide the outcome of this match. Well, a key factor anyway. But can Arctic Warriors extend their lead here with his Kentrosaurus? Oh, they can! And they get a crit, which is even better! Right, that's once. Okay, that tie will finish off the Kentrosaurus. But Arctic Warriors retains a, a, a slight lead. Okie dokie, coming in next for Arctic Warriors, we've got the Mega Raptor. Now, Mega Raptor hits really hard. So, this is a good chance here if Arctic Warriors can kill the, the tank without it getting the chance of an awakened hit, that would be big for them. Let's see what happens. Mega Raptor getting a hit the first shot there. Arctic extending their lead. Ooh, but sight the tank finally getting a hit. Okay, that's thrice. One more for the awaken mode. Can it survive? That's a tie. Another tie. And that third time might be lethal, and it is lethal. Tank goes down. Doesn't get the chance of an awakened hit. That could be big from Arctic Warriors. It wasn't pretty, but they got it done. Right, and now coming in third for Keontae, we have got the T-Rex. Do not count Keontae out. They've got that death fire. That death fire is a big factor. If he gets that off, he can win this match. But the chance for the bonus point is gone, but Arctic... But for Arctic, can they get a bonus point win out of this? Which not only would it eliminate Keontae, Aaron Plays and Prison Bow. Oh, okay, well, never mind. They're not getting a bonus point. But they're not going to survive this crit from the T-Rex. Well, I was going to say, if they did get the bonus point win, that would put... That would mean Kai Jean Cooper would have to get a 3-0 win from one of their two matches. Okay, now... Coming in third for Arctic Warriors, we got Super Mimas. It's got the type advantage, which he's definitely going to need. Any of those hits will hit hard for Super Mime for Arctic. But that T Rex's crit is still a big threat. Even with type disadvantage, that will do damage. And it's got Death Fire, so do bear that in mind. Ooh, that's a tie. Another tie. Wow, this is so tense. Oh, that's a big crit! Neptune stream coming in here. I'm going to concentrate. 
Make sure I don't bowl this up. <laughs> Yes, got it! Haha! -ha. I mean, not haha -ha if you're Keonte, but haha -ha for, you know, for me not getting it wrong. <laughs> it, especially in such a significant match. Oh, and the Death Fire didn't get triggered. That could do it for Arctic Warriors. One hit for the win, and it'd be a huge win. And there's the victory! A massive result for Arctic Warriors! And that knocks out Keontae, it knocks out Aaron Plays and Prism Bow. A huge win. And it keeps them in the top four going into the final round. And it heaps all the pressure on Kaijon Cooper going into this main event. And speaking of that main event, here it comes. Okie dokie, in the red corner for Kaijon Cooper, we got Pentaceratops. Okay, this is an interesting field. Both our guys do have fire types. Kaijon has the Super Torvosaurus in third, and Jurassic Experts has the Omega Eocarcaria in second. So both our dudes are going to get terrain advantage. Right, in the blue corner for Kaijon Cooper, we've got Ampelosaurus. No, Jurassic Experts, sorry. <laughs> we've got Ampelosaurus. Jurassic Experts enjoying a good tournament so far. And a win here would help them secure second spot, which could be key going into the knockout rounds when you see the matchups. Well, what possible matchups you can get. It's a good start for Kaijon, and well, Kaijon has to win this match to stay alive. If they do win it, they will take it to the final day. And they do play Arctic Warriors in the final round. And if they win that, they will go above Arctic Warriors into that top four. By virtue of the head-to-head. -head. But that's a long way away yet, and they got to win this match first. But if they do fall here, then that does guarantee our top four. And experts is already safely through up. What we got here? It's an ocean panic. So yeah, Jurassic experts after that res has already confirmed their place in the knockout rounds. Alongside Mom. Okay, a shockwave removal effect. That'll help. Right, that does mean that Ampelosaurus will be going paper. Okay, it's a tie. This Amplosaurus dealing with a type disadvantage very well. And getting the crit. Is that going to put him in the lead? Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Bit of an overstatement of its crit. And well, it won't go in the lead. The Pentaceratops does indeed down the Amplosaurus. Now, Omega Eocarteria does come in next. It will get terrain advantage, so it will get the next hit. So Pentaceratops is going down as well. So after everything said and done, we are all square. Which is okay, not too bad if you're experts. Deals dealt with our type disadvantage very well. Right, coming in next for experts, we've got Omega Eukarkeria. Wow, this is the big dog, isn't it? If Kaijon Cooper can get rid of this thing quick, he'll have a real shot of winning this match. And wow, they can get a bonus point win out of this. That would be a massive help. Okay, it's Crimson Flame. Uh, Scissors Rock. I'll try not to balls it up. Ah, I mean, the Pentaceratops was on such low health anyway. Even if I did mess it up, it was dead. But here we go. But yeah, if Kaijon does get a bonus point win... That does mean... Well, if they don't get a bonus point win here, that does mean that all Arctic would need is a losing bonus point to go for it. Right, anyway. Coming in next for Kaijon, we have got Euoplocephalus. Well, this Euoplocephalus is going to have to do its work here. It's got the Earth Barrier. That will help. We saw it help MEGE10 earlier. I'm sure it will help. It could help Kaijon here. Oh, not with a hit like that.
Okay, there's a hit. Will we see Earth Barrier? We don't. And Evil Calcaria responding with that another shot. Going back and forth at the minute. Oh, we are going back and forth. <laughs> okay, no Earth Barrier. Ah, there we go. What, this will be paper now. Oh, no, it's not. And instead, it's a crit. We finally broke that trend. Oh, that's a Crimson Flame. That's a big hit. Euoplocephalus is going to go down. And Jurassic Experts is going to be in the lead here. There we go. Yeah, I think if he had the Earth Barrier, that would have uh, saved, spared him. But unfortunately, no Earth Barrier. Euoplocephalus is going to get cut. And it does go down. Right, coming in third for Kaijon, we have got Super Torbosaurus and Waker Mode on three. But that's irrelevant at this point because he needs to kill this Eel Carcaria first. Oh, actually, it is relevant because it has terrain advantage, so it will get the next hit on that Eel Carc. And it'll be a rock hit. What am I saying? Which means the Eel Carcaria will probably not go down. Oh, actually, yes, it will. Well, it should. And it does. Okay, so, yeah, we're, we're all square again. Right, coming in food for experts, Jurassic experts. We have got Super Soro Pelter, Awaker Mode on three. Wow. This, this is going to go down to the wire. Such an even contest so far. Neither of them really able to get an inch. Both of them use the terrain advantage quite well. But it's all down to this. Ooh, and it's Kaijon getting the first shot. Ooh, but Experts gets a big crit on the board. Oh, that wasn't that big, actually. Oh, but it's a Magma Blaster, and it is awakening time for both of these guys. Boosh! I mean, Sora Pelta will survive this, it should. Oh, but look at that! Okay, here we go. Elemental Fusion! Elemental Fusion! This is it. And it's Kaijon's victory! And Kaijon Cooper gets a huge, massive win to keep their tournament hopes alive and take it to the last round. And Jurassic Experts does lose, but they're already through. We already know they're through, so it doesn't really matter for them. But it's a massive win for Kaijon Cooper. We got some big results in this group. So let's have a look at the table and see where everyone sits. Well, there it is, Group E, ladies and gentlemen. So, yep. Courtesy of that Arctic Warriors victory, Aaron plays Prison Bow and Keontae all bowing out at the tournament. But Kaijon Cooper clinging on with a huge win over Jurassic Experts, who I, who I did say was already through, but now then they're sitting very uncomfortable, and they are below Arctic Warriors not just by the head-to-head, -head, but Arctic does have a better record on them overall. So experts will still have a bit of work to do to get out of this group. Man already safely through. And MEJB10 securing top spot by a country mile. <laughs> will they be able to make it 7 out of 7? We'll have to see. Because next round they do play Jurassic Experts. So that's going to be a massive match for experts. And they're going to have to win that match realistically. Or hope that Kaijon Cooper lose their match against Arctic Warriors. So the two standout matches... The standout one is going to be Kaijon against Arctic Warriors. If Kaijon wins that match, they will go through. Because they do have the head-to-head -head on Arctic Warriors. And they just beaten Jurassic Experts, so they also have the head-to-head -head on them too. And obviously Jurassic Experts against MEJP10, which will be a big ask for Experts, given how ominous MEJP10 has been in this tournament. And then these three will be hoping to finish their tournaments on a high. But I will say, they have been really entertaining, guys. Especially these two. 
really entertaining. It is a shame that we're losing them, but that's just how the group stage is. So, I hope you enjoyed, and until next time, ta-ta!